Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to use the new JB client login as of late summer 2020. So if you just head on over to jb.com and click the client login link in the top right hand corner and then just log in using the details that we've provided you with. And as you can see, we've sort of simplified the design quite considerably. So we were finding that a lot of people were telling us that they, they didn't really need to download individual products. So we've actually just grouped the products into, into ranges now, or, or, or categories. Um, so it just makes it a lot easier and a, you know, and a lot quicker to download what you want. So obviously, you, first thing you see, you're presented with a download all. That literally just grabs every single thing. And you've also got a link to this video that you're currently watching. Um, and then you've got a link to email myself, uh, Richard Dale, if you get if you get stuck with anything. And then it's just pretty self-explanatory, really. You just download the category that you that you're looking for. I'll show you. I'll show you how to do that in a second. Um, one of the things that I probably would recommend that you download is the JB Brand Pack. But definitely, if you've never worked with our brand before. But even if you have, I'd recommend that you download it because there's some new stuff in there. There's some new revised colours some new um, icons and a few other bits and pieces so it's definitely worth grabbing a, a copy of that it also includes our brand guidelines as well so it's a, a really quite a handy thing to get is that um, so I'll show you how to download we'll use the folding beds as an example I've already gone ahead and downloaded them ahead of time just to save time so if you just click download all now depending on what web browser you're using you'll either it'll either pop up and say do you want to save or it might just start downloading automatically. They all work very similar. Um, like I said, I won't do it because I've already done this. So, um, so I imagine I've clicked down, download all, and in my case, it just downloaded automatically. And then that that's resulted in a zip folder being put in my downloads folder. So if you just open Windows Explorer, that's usually an icon, um, a yellow icon in the lower left of your screen. But if you just press the Windows key and just start to type Explorer, uh, there, look, File Explorer. I just typed EX there and it came up. Um, and then just simply click this PC or you can just say download there, look. And then that's the download. That's a zip folder that we've um, downloaded. <coughs> Excuse me. And a zip folder is just a compressed um, set of files, basically. So before we can work with a zip folder, we must, we must uh, extract it. So if you just simply select the uh, file, right click on it, and a little menu pops up and then just say extract all you can choose to put it in a different location or you can just choose the defaults in this case I'll just choose the defaults if you wanted to put it somewhere else you just say browse but I'll just say extract and just let it extract the folding beds download is the biggest one of uh, of all of them so it will just take a few few seconds it, it depends on your computer speed obviously if you've got a slower computer it'll take a little bit longer Should, shouldn't take too long though um, and I'll walk you through the downloads once it's extracted um, because we have sort of reorganized them a little bit and we've given you a bit more flexibility um, just to ensure that they look, um, you know, perfect on, on every on every website, really. Um, I'll show you in a second once it's downloaded. I didn't want to cut this out because I thought it was an important step to show. So um, we're nearly there now anyway. So there we go. So it will just open the folder, you know, automatically as it has done here. But I'll just close that and just show you what's going on. So that's the zip folder that we downloaded, and then we've got the extract uh, extracted folder there. So I'll just we can delete the zip folder now. We no longer need that. So then we'll just click into all folding beds, and then you can see you've just got a folder representing each of the different ranges. Um, as the notes tell you here, we've, there's been some name changes. I mean, you've probably been notified of this anyway. Um, the Royal and the Impression are now called Jubilee. So you've basically got... The Jubilee now comes with three mattresses. Um, the E-Fiber, uh, the E-Fiber memory and the E-Pocket, um, which have just... It's the same bed, just with a different title and a slightly different mattress. Um, so if you come into the... Um, well, I say a different mattress. It's using e fiber rather. Well, we've we've called Airflow Fiber now e fiber. Um, it's the same quality mattress. Um, anyway, I'm I'm digressing. So, say for example, we wanted to look at the Jubilee. So we'll click into Jubilee, um, and then you can see there you've got a folder for every single product. And um, we'll use the e fiber one as an example. Uh, most products have got videos. Not no doubles have got videos. All the singles have got um, videos. The only Video, the only single beds that don't have videos are the crowns. All others have. 
Um, and we've created new intros as well for those videos uh, to match the new titles and everything. Um, you've also got the product copy there and the spec sheet, so you've got everything. And what we've done as well is we've also provided the copy just in raw text format. Um, it, it probably won't look like that when you open it. It'll probably open in, um, if you're on a Windows PC, it'll probably open in Notepad, so it'll look something similar to that. Um, so it's just raw copy, you know, or raw text. So it's ideal for copying into your content management systems, you know, as opposed to having like a Word document that might copy some formatting and things. So that's a copy. And then I think you'll like what we've done with the photography now. So we've always provided our photography in room set format and on white background. So I'll just show you that. So that's obviously white background. Um, and then that's obviously the room set. So that's that. But what we've also done now is, because what, what we're finding is some retailers had like rectangular crops on their websites. Um, so, sorry, more commonly, they were finding that a lot of retailers had square crop Square, square cropped images on the website and we were only providing rectangular so they weren't, they weren't always looking quite as good as they could be so now we're providing rectangular and square so you know whatever you're using you should be able to you know uh, find the one that you that you want um, and they're also higher quality than they used to be as well these are 3000 pixels wide so you know whatever your website this, you know the, you should be fine really um, so I'll just go into the rectangular crop we've also included now I mean the Jubilee's Probably not the best example, actually, because it's not got that many images. Let's go into, we'll go into a Supreme. These have got a few more images. So we'll go into like the pocket. I'll just show you that. So as you can see, you've got a, most of the beds as well. I've got like a few lifestyle shots as well, which are really nice. Um, and then we've also included this new eco slide for every folding bed as well now. Just to, just to sort of introduce you or introduce the customer to some of the uh, sustainability features. Which is quite nice, and each product's uh, range or cat yeah well range yeah not category has, has got a, uh, a colour to match, and then we also include the cross section which we did before but we've recolored those and we've re um, well not just renamed some of the things like the um, the mattress that we talked about earlier, um, so I think you'll find those really handy as well. So that's it. So like I say, you've got a square crop, uh, sorry, a rectangular crop and a square crop. So if your website uses square images, then you can use those instead. Um, and then, like I say, if, you, if you're wanting to use white background, then you've also got those as well. So you should have all bases covered. Now, if we do know that a few retailers use like um, a sp their own special crop, like some, sometimes you have like a portrait style crop or a few of our customers use like a real, um, you know, like a 16 by nine or more sort of crop. We, few and far between, but if you do have a crop like that and you find, that these images don't really work in your website, then do get in touch with me at richard at jb.com um, and I'll help you out. And quite often we can uh, we can uh, accommodate you and, and create like a custom crop for you. But like I said, for most people, most of the time, these, these should be more than, more than adequate. Okay, so I, I hope you find that video useful. Um, like I said, if you've got any questions, then you've got my email or you can email me using that link on the website there. Um, and you can access this video again using the, that support video link there. Okay, cheers guys, thanks very much.